Anyway, this is the Deutz motor on a JLG 6, uh, 60 uh, S, 600 S, whatever it is, boom lift. And it filled up with diesel fuel because the fuel pump's leaking into the motor oil. And when I tell you, I turn around, a kid was working on the building. It was a 20 foot geyser coming out of that exhaust stack. It ran away the motor. I've never in 50, 40 years of working on motors ever saw anything like that. <laughs> no one could shut it off because the air intake's buried back there. I couldn't get the motor out fast enough to put a, a coat in the air intake <clears throat> until it finally ran out of oil. I never saw anything like it. Luckily it was not near any materials like this or the building. It would have wrecked everything. It was over here in the dirt. Yeah, um, so I drained it down. So anyway, today I see is a hand crank. It's kind of a nice invention. JLG is my favorite. Genie's okay too. They're both pretty good. Actually, even Skyjack has some nice stuff too, so I don't really... I just don't... Doids used to be air-cooled, and they were solid, indestructible, simple motors. Hard, to, kind of funky to fix, like most German stuff. Um, but these new ones, water-cooled, they run good. But over here, I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> they did is they changed over to a rubber timing belt behind that cover. How? Why? I don't know. Because in 3,000 hours, you're supposed to take the whole front of this thing apart and put a rubber belt on. It probably isn't too bad. I can see in there. This machine's easy to get to, of course. There's the fuel pump right there with this Phillips screw. It's easy change. And uh, oil went everywhere in here, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too impressed I'm surprised Cummins don't make a small well Perkins I think Cat bought Perkins I have some Perkins that are awesome I'm not really impressed anymore with the Deutz um, the other one has a Cat which is actually Mitsubishi runs absolutely beautiful Kubota I'm surprised they haven't used the Anmar engines in these things the Anmar is fantastic okay so we're going to take this apart. Let me pause this. And uh, here's the job site. We've been here since last December. That thing went haywire last week. It shut down because it didn't regen. And the computer defueled the motor. And nobody had... You, there's no warning light telling you when to regen it. So for like three weeks I've been running it. And it just went nuts and shut down. Plus the fuel filters are totally loaded with bad stuff. Look like clam... Look like Manhattan clam chowder in the fuel filters. Anyway, we we serviced that. That's running okay. I just don't particularly care for that crane. The controls are very very jerky. Um, it's got electric over hydraulic. 2008 340 T-Rex. It's a good simple cheap crane. It's okay, but I'm used to like GMK and Lieber and you know the Grove. Um, 70 we have is uh, for old-fashioned four lever you could feather and hold the load and this thing's hard to boom down and hold the load perfect it's jerky anyway these are the panels we just finished these roofs we got one more building to go so it's like 1300 feet it's like a contractor rental building um so we got all the roofs done and now it's starting to fill the walls up and it rained here so bad, that man left on the other side, Sansa lift, almost fell down into that pit and washed the gully over there. We pulled it out with him just a while ago. Luckily it didn't damage the building or flip over or something. It's pretty far from the edge of that hole too. But the water ran off the roof and made a river and the machine was on outriggers and almost went over. Anyway, let me get this pump out. And we'll see. And I gotta drain like two gallons of mix of diesel and oil out of the crankcase again. Hold on, I'll see you in a little while. 